Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. Southern Colorado schools now ramping up efforts to keep students and staff healthy amid the coronavirus outbreak. Academy District 20 is telling us that they're starting to look at different options and to determine what's going to be best if the virus makes its mark in their community. We are planning for things like if we have to close down a school. What would that look like? How would we do it? If we had to figure out how to make students learn at home because we closed down a school, what does e-learning or remote learning look like? Several local colleges also starting to put some plans in place and the Colorado Springs St. Patrick's Day Parade still set to happen this Saturday. News 5 is a proud sponsor. The El Paso County Health Department is not recommending canceling any local events. In fact, Mayor John Southers is saying that the state of emergency is not meant to cause panic. It's a tool that governments can use to take extra measures to protect you. We have all the information about the parade up right now at KOAA.com. And of course, we want to check that forecast as well with meteorologist Sam Schreier. We're looking pretty good outside, but over the next seven days, forecast gets a little active on us. Today, we have a chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. That chance is best up to the Palmer Divide, so kind of northern Colorado Springs, getting over Monument Hill, and then actually into the mountains in between Taylor County and Colorado Springs. Tomorrow's a little windy, Thursday a little cooler. On Friday, a bit of an active storm could be on the way. 33 degrees to the temp. We are a two on the impact scale with weather alerts, so we feel like this is going to be a storm that grabs at least a few inches of snow. We are on Saturday looking at temperatures in the 50s and then up towards 60 on Monday before a snow chance Tuesday. Pueblo also sees a chance for a wintry mix on Friday and the nicer over the weekend. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.